The fourth robot I have my students build was never able to accomplish what I initially intended it to, but it's still a new build and it exposes them to three new concepts. The robot uses a set of gears in order from largest to smallest to drive the wheels and speed the robot up. It uses the distance sensor to control the movement stack. And finally, it naturally runs backwards so the kids have to switch the movement motors to get to run forwards. I originally hoped to use this setup to teach about speed and torque. But since the wheels provide so little traction, they always break traction long before the motors run out of torque. So that lesson will have to be provided in a different way. However, using the gears, the distance sensor, and having to switch the order of the motors in the programming stack are all useful lessons for the students. Also, they seem genuinely impressed when they can see that they can start their robot with the wave of a hand. First, I have them build just part one of the building instructions. There is a video posted. I give them the same challenge from the previous lesson, which is to run a figure eight around the two blocks. A lot of them are calling it the infinity. After they have completed this, I have them do part two of the building instructions, where they add the second wheel to improve some traction and put the push group on the front. Then they have a new challenge, which is to program the robot to start in a corner, head out to the farthest block on the table and push it back to the corner. This is a new challenge for them, but easy enough for them to create the program and feel successful on their own. Even though the robot was not able to be used to demonstrate how gears can affect torque because the wheels lack sufficient traction, the robot is still a cool build and it introduces the students to using the distance sensor, connecting gears together, and showing them how switching the movement motors order can change the behavior of the robot. So I still think it's turned out to be a really valuable lesson. If you want to see how to build this robot, Look for the Geared Up Robot Building Instructions video and just press pause as often as you need.